Hello everyone, this is Grandmaster Tevasis Das. Today we are going to study H3, sixth move. It is uh, very interesting. You can use it in rapid and blitz. To be honest, I will not recommend you to play in classical chess because it's not that risky for black. Black must know where to develop his pieces. But somehow, uh, so far, all the strong players did not react properly. I thought they underestimated this variation. When this line was played a few days back in Prague Chess Festival in the month of uh, March, Bartel faced it two times. First, Gukesh played against Bartel in round number six. Then in round number nine, Vincent played same H3 against Bartel. Both the times, Bartel didn't react properly. Gukesh got good advantage. So now let's see the game first. Against Gukesh, Bartel played Knight BD7, which is not good. Here he spent 10 minutes, 37 seconds for Knight BD7. Gukesh played H3 rather very quickly, 29 seconds. This knight d7 is not good. Bishop f4, I really like this. Even Gukesh also did not expect knight bd7 because knight bd7 is not really good. Gukesh thought for 6 minutes 29 seconds and he reacted precisely. Bishop f4 is good. I like it. Because after all this thing, this move Gukesh, what he played, you know, sometimes I feel Gukesh is trying to complicate unnecessarily somewhat. Or he enjoys complicated position. He should have simply taken bishop d6, queen into d6, bishop d3. I mean, this is... Uh, black has this general typical threat. But I obviously prefer this position as white. I mean, white has all this minority attack. I mean, if you try to do this, uh, you must know a very interesting idea. Okay, that is knight e5. After g6, he wants to play this. You can play g4. And this is better for white. I mean, you can do this later. And you can bring queen like this, f5. And sometimes you can even bring like knight like this. This is better for white. So what Bartel did in the round number six, I will not recommend any of you to play like this if you are black. Because this is a very typical position, I mean. This is the main position. So, H3 move so far was played in above 2500 level, five to six games were played. The first time it was played in classical chess, Nakamura versus Vishyanan, 2018. And it was a draw. Okay, but now let's see how Bartel reacted in round number nine. Vincent played h3 and here Bartel played bishop f5. This move I somehow don't like, but Bartel, okay, it is my own personal opinion. Bartel played this move rather very quickly because probably he checked a little bit after finishing his game against Gukesh, but probably he did not analyze it in depth. I don't know. Really? So he played this in 16 seconds. Mukesh played this move fast. And again, he played bishop e6 very fast. He thought for 35 seconds. And now Vincent played knight g5 for 3 minutes, 9 seconds. Here, Bartel should have played castle. But he played bishop c8. I'll show you the game quickly. Bishop f4. And how the and when Bartel played bishop c8 move, here Vincent thought for 33 minutes for bishop f4. So totally, and in when Vincent was playing this game, he was not that in good form. In eight round, probably he scored three and a half, I think. 
something like this is code. So probably not in good shape. So here he's spending 33 minutes. And after h5, the way he played, rook g1, I will just show you the game quickly. Now, this is black was clearly better. This position, black is objectively winning. You can see. This position, white drew the game. It was like a black, white was lucky, but now black is completely winning this position. Black is upon up, everything. So this is a bad opening by Vincent. But in this position, white has something very interesting. After this, you can play queen d3. If you take, then long castle, then white has fantastic compensation. As white is having, even I prefer to play this position as white. It's like a, a Benko position. But queen d3, okay, when you, I saw everything with engine, obviously, queen d3 part. It's easy to criticize when you use engine. But uh, the guy thought for 11 minutes and he played bad chess and black was already better. So, but I prefer castle. And then I did some analysis. Let's say take, take bishop g2, then c5, idea knight c6. I mean, you obviously have to take this position, this position. Somehow, I prefer to play this position as black because my black king is more safe and it is very practical to play this position as black, very much. And you play knight e5, a6, b5. It's very, very easy. And later when you have double knight, it's easy to attack. If you are black, you can do this. G4, bishop g6, knight g5 was played by Vincent. You can play castle. White player can play this move. But okay, you have to do some, you have to explore this position. Uh, so bishop f5, G, if you play bishop f4, then black can play c6. If you play e3, black will just go knight with e7. If you go g4, because the main concept is h3, g4, you can play bishop e4. And in this line, I did some very interesting variation analysis. If a g5, queen b6 is the move. And it is black who is having advantage after queen b6. It is difficult to find. Okay. So you can play this. But then it is castle move you should play. I should not go bishop c8. I don't like it. After bishop c8, bishop f4, I prefer white position. Now let's see castling, which is very obvious. It was played by Vishyanan. Bishop played this move, bishop f4, and c5 is the most standard move. It's like when your opponent is playing a3, h3 unnecessarily, you should try to open up the position and you should try to punish him. Because in these lines, c5 is very standard. And because when Anand faced this line, he must have thought, okay, this is something very silly, such so three move. I should try to punish him because h3 was Nakamura was the first one to play h3 bishop f4 right. So Nakamura took this bishop c5, e3, this bishop e2, and Anand played d4, took and Anand took bishop into d4. This move is okay, not bad. The game happened like this. I prefer white, but the game ended in a draw. But somehow, I, this is very simple, knight into d4. And uh, this is easy equality. Either this or bishop e6. I think this is nothing special. I mean, if you play this move, then take, take bishop d5 is just equal. But if you are... If you are trying to play for win or you want to complicate, obviously, I mean, as a white who will, who will be happy with the draw, you should play e3 move. And after knight c6 is the most obvious move, then bishop b5 you should try. Okay. And after cd4, you should take knight into d4. Because, okay, this is obviously better for white as well as pawn. 
if black plays this move then you should do castle because uh, if you play moves like this then knight e4 is there i did some analysis just to this is a very beautiful line it is knight b4 it's just for sake of beauty i'm showing you all this part if you take if you take this guy then a6 if this is everything i checked with engine just for sake of beauty huh? now if you play castle now this idea bishop uh, c4 is coming plus this one will fall it's easy to play as black and uh, if you play ca castle the knight into a2 is coming and then this is coming if now it's easy to understand black is better this one was really beautiful so as white you should just castle if takes on into there is a rule whenever it is a symmetrical pawn structure the one who has a better piece activity they are usually better so this position we can say that white is slightly better because of white pieces are more active and uh, it's easy to play as white so this this is a room for experiment you need to analyze more in depth it's like this is also something very interesting this is better for white so you have to work you have to do some experiment so castle the c5 i don't like if i am black in this position i will play here c6 and after bishop f4 then i will go bishop f5 this is my recommendation if you are black you can play this if your if your opponent plays this then you have this move the bishop g2 castle and this position is fine and remember one thing if they do like this sometime huh you can i prefer to exchange this guy because this bishop is very strong guy so once you exchange this guy his king will become little weak remember this idea okay. after bishop f4 you will play bishop f5 this castle move i don't like because of queen c2 if you play this then e3 or oh, no, no, no g4 g4 is the move if knight uh, b7 then this bishop b3 i prefer this position to play as white and there are some interesting variations i analyzed this is not this is white is really better this bishop will fall bishop on c2 if you go bishop e3 then bishop d3 king f1 is the correct move and at this position white has some plans which i showed this it is better for white but you know how practical it is I mean, how big the advantage is but all those who are d4 player typical d4 player i mean i have some experience all my life i played d4 it's easy to play as white i love this pawn structure specifically because all those who play qgd cd5 ed5 structure that the cd5 bishop d5 uh, bishop g5 then you play e3 bishop d3 knight g2 f3 this is a very typical pawn structure you get and as a d4 player i love this structure but if i am black i will play bishop f5 if you play e3 then knight bd7 i will not play castle i will play knight bd7 first if you go g4 then obviously i'll play this because this i already showed you in b6 somehow this is a very unclear position if you go knight h4 i'll go here if you play f3 then knight h5 is coming you cannot really play it black is winning now so let's say if you play most like this i will play h6 now i want to return back bishop h7 because keeping this bishop is always good because if you do like this this then this check is coming and remember once his king is misplaced 
then you can exchange this guy. I prefer to exchange this guy. No. Castle. Okay, this question is equal. It's not like black is winning or something. Just equal. But I prefer black. This line is not that dangerous, but I prefer specifically this move from black. There is a move C5. After this, take, take, E3. This I prefer to play as white. This. This position you can also get from Nimzo Indian move order. Okay, uh, this position is better for white because now black cannot get rid of uh, this isolated pawn because it can knight a4. And if you move it, now you are a pawn down. Simply. So you cannot really neutralize this isolated pawn. This is better for white. I will show you how you get it from Nimzo Indian move order. Let's say this, this, this. Because all my life I played uh, Nimzo E3. Right, how it was? Yes, Knight C6. I think take, take, this, this, then you play H3. This is the position. So this is it, this variation. So here C5 is not good. So the final conclusion is C6, Bishop F5 is good for black.